birthday party the other day. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And the magician was there, and he said he got my nose. So, you know, the son of it stole my nose, and I was not happy. Sophie. And so I had to get a bag with a stick Sophie. in. What? What? Alive. Oh, hi, everybody. Yeah, we'll, we'll continue that story later. Um... Well, welcome back to Sly Cooper. Uh, if, if you if you somehow missed last part, uh, just uh, just to recap. So for cover is for copyright reasons, I had to swap out the jazz song that I had for the first half of the playthrough with a song that I had, I myself had created. Um, and again, if, if anyone's interested, I can easily put it up as a separate video. Uh, probably still have like ratchet some Sly Cooper gameplay or something, but because the song itself is around like can't think of song. Uh, the song itself that I made is around like three minutes or so. So that's a decent sized song. Plus, it gives me an excuse to actually show off music that I've created. Um, I did want to say, uh, more, more telling you, Rumpy, I think... Let me, uh... Hang on. Okay, no, it's the next episode. Alright, let's see what's on the agenda. Uh, going further into Miss Ruby's hideout. I'm backtracking because I don't know where the fuck I'm going. You know, before I forget, uh, we were talking about Ratchet and Clank last time, and more specifically bringing up the tiles. I, I want to bring up, so, this past week I had been recording footage for Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal, the third game in the original PlayStation 2 trilogy. Uh, and, and I had been recording that footage for review. I am sad that I did not get a chance to show off um, show off the multiplayer uh -huh. if it was possible i would like i it would have been fun to do the multiplayer with like try and do the multiplayer with you rumpy but the amount of effort it would have taken to set that up just would not have been worth it nope um one fish uh, this mini game. Uh, surprisingly enough, only took me two tries. You bastard. I'm not saying it wasn't paying the ass, because this mini game is paying the ass. But it, uh, I, I'm surprised it only took me two tries. Uh, for the record, right now I am speeding up through the. I'm speeding up through the first attempt because just just to say yeah it did it, take two tries. Um, most of the to be honest, most of the mini games, like the side mini games from Sly One, just are not as fun to go back to. Nope. Uh, which which is why when I had to re-record. Um, when I had to re-record Pan King and Clockwork Section, uh, for some reason I was blanking on the name. Um, anyway, uh, but when I had to re-record their sections, I basically just skipped over the minigame parts. Straight to the um, just normal gameplay. <laughs> Ew, they're gone. Mm. Uh, fuck the chest.
But I mostly level speeder, I admit. Huh? Sorry, you go ahead. Uh, yeah, the the boat. It's a neat little boat. Oh, yeah. Mm. Um. I also did have to add music in because I don't rem because either the music was playing too quietly for this section, or there just wasn't any music. So I just added. Uh, I did add music in. So that it just a little more comfortable. It didn't feel as awkward. Um, but I was bringing up. Uh, I was bringing up Panicking and Clockwork section. There, one of the one of the reasons I'm happy that I was able to skip over a specific parts is I think the because. For as much as it drives me nuts, I don't entirely hate the races. I just wish they were optional. Because each of the... Like, each section you go through... Took me too long to get that one fucking key. Um, each of the section you... Each different area you go to, you have to get all seven of the keys just to progress which means you have to do every level in the game um which uh, to be fair is one of the reasons why i go for every clue bottle um hey i'm trying to remember where to go um that being said like it it would have been nicer if you only needed a set number of keys similar to other collectathon platformers of the time like you you only needed say five keys instead of seven um Mostly because I don't want to do the fucking racing minigame shit. Even if I like the ra the racing minigame, I would rather it be just optional. Crash their production and build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby Skull Temple. Okay, sounds like we've got a plan. To get around that thing, try moving in the shadows made by the masks so that the guards won't see you. Sly, that sounds incredibly dangerous and stupid. But if you want to go through with it, here's how you do it. <laughs> I.e. Bentley, like, 90% of the time. Like, not even just for this game, like, 90% of the time, period. I mean, when we were doing, when we were doing fucking Riley's section, he tells him that the only way to get to Riley's blimp is by shooting himself out of cannon, so... Parts. I was telling you, the health <laughs> neat. Going to come Disgusting, but neat. This dump. Body soup. Just like voodoo grandma used to make. Who's your voodoo grandma? I'm not answering that question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I knew for a fact I left that death in. Do you know how I died there? You tapped the spiky log. Okay, thank you. Because it took, I, I think I, it took me a second to realize that what, ha that's what happened, and it's like, oh, because, because it was like, hey, but the other guy didn't, the other guy didn't see me there's no way i could have gotten killed by the guy who hit me the, the or the, not the guy who hit me the guy who um the guy i hit so how did i die there and it's like oh oh <laughs> i'm an idiot that's how it happened i don't ask um you, you had mentioned that you played through, you had played the entire Sly series. Um, 
first off, what is your favorite game in the series? That's tough. That's tough to say. Um, probably two. Like, I think two has the best story out of all of them. Yeah. Uh, we, uh that was um. I'll give credit to three I, I simplifying can't... some things, but honestly, I think two's probably the most well-rounded. I I can't remember uh, what was what, what was the subtitle for two. Because I know. Thieves. Ba- yeah, that's all right. It was Band of Thieves because it was um it was Thievius Rac Thievius Raccoonus was the first one. Band of Thieves hat. <laughs> I was gonna call it Hat in Time. No, it's um Honor Among Thieves, and then um. Thieves in time. I mean, I, I, gonna be honest, I like the gameplay of the original game a bit more than later games in the series, but the story of the story of Band of Thieves is genuinely the best story in, of, of the four. Yep, and. I I have a soft spot for stories that involve time travel, especially if they actually do they actually take the concept of time travel and do it right. But Thieves in Time is just such a chaotic mess of a story. Yeah. It's a fun game. Like it genuinely it no, is it a plays, really fun it, sly game. Yeah. It's just the story and, and, well, and part of the story, part of the reason the story for Sly 4, I think, is such a mess is because of Penelope. Not going to open that can of worms until we get to it. Uh, well, until we cross uh, that bridge. I, I just want to bring up, like, I, I just want to bring up this one, one point before, yeah. so, so people don't, so in case people are wondering before we get to Thieves in Time. Penelope was a good guy in Sly in Sly Three. She like she was introduced in that one, and she was a good guy. In Sly Four, she's just inexplicably a villain. And the reason that she is a villain makes no fucking sense. No, it doesn't. But like I'll, I, I, I don't hate I, that she. I don't hate that they turned her into a villain. I just wish she had better motivation. And and yeah. I'm I'll leave it at that. We'll we'll we'll, we'll get into uh, it yeah, when we we'll, get there. Yeah. Um, we'll cross that bridge in due time. Yeah. Uh, th- <laughs> he made a pun. That took me a second. That's, that's actually a good one. Um, that being said, I do like that Thieves in Time hint that if they did a fifth game, she might have been the villain. And that's that would have actually been interesting. Yeah, I can it's see just, the potential for, uh, what is it? Oh, temporal causality loop. Yeah. Just all plays in on itself, but what are you uh, going to do? Frankly, I think the bigger the bigger missed opportunity with... Man, I really, uh, <laughs> I really am just doing poor. I mean... You fumbled on that one. You, you didn't even need to die with your hat. I mean, I technically did. So I did take it off. Um, I think the biggest missed opportunity with Thieves in Time is that... Um, they they weren't going to plan a sequel where it just follows up. and Because th- that game... Spoiler alert for a decade-old game. Thieves in Time technically ends with Sly... Like, the 100% ending for... Uh, for Thieves in Time reveals that Sly is marooned in ancient Egypt. And that's where the series ends, just on that cliffhanger. Allegedly, they weren't... Like, that wasn't even going to be for a fifth game. That was going to be for downloadable content. They were just going to have ancient Egypt as a as downloadable content, and they never got a chance to make it. Ah. Uh. Um... I'm I'm sad that they never got to make it because that just leaves Thieves in Time on an 
on unfinished. Uh, on, yeah, yeah. Well, it, both unfinished and also just. I always hate when one of my favorite franchises ends in a cliffhanger. And not just. It, not only is it a cliffhanger, it's an unsatisfying cliffhanger. Um. Well, it's also funny. It, it's also funny because a lot of the, a lot of the, um, the combination has to be five, seven, one. A lot of the relatives that Sly references in this game that he gets the pieces of the Thievius Raccoonus for, most of them we actually see in Thieves in Time. Mm-hmm. Uh. We see Ryoichi Cooper. We see um slow motion technique. With this move, you can slow down time with Tennessee Kid Cooper. Not just while jumping. Hold down the triangle to use it. Sir Galith. I don't remember them referencing him in in this No, he was Well, I don't think this game, but he does he does get mentioned in the series. Okay. Well, I I think if they reference him, if they reference him in this game, then it's not one of the major cutscenes that references him. It's one of the smaller, uh, one of the smaller extra pages that we collect along the way. Um, but like, we we actually get to see him, um, and. Slight and common, cumin. Slight and common. However you pronounce it, I forget. I'll put up in YouTube re-upload how it's supposed to be pronounced. Um, he, of course, was gonna be was gonna be Sly's ancestor that you meet in that last in that DLC mission. Um. And and it's uh, to me it's a nice touch. It's like okay here we're like we're referencing, um, here are actual relatives that we brought up in earlier games. Use the left analog stick to move and aim the right analog stick in the direction you want to shoot. Remember, you can always shoot in one direction while moving in another. I do want to say if Sony ever wants to bring back Sly Cooper. They should do the crash for it's about time thing where they what soft reboot everything not yeah so I was gonna say not soft reboot but that that is what crash for did basically soft reboot and and ignore thieves in time um yeah because it it's just the better thing to do. If you, I, I'm not saying don't, like, Sly 3 ends with a tease that, that, um, Bentley was working on a time machine. So, or at least the, I, I don't know if that was something add for the PS3 version or if that was in the PS2 version. I just no, know. No, it was in the PS2 version. Okay. So, like, I... Don't don't just ignore that. Like have if like that. I like the idea of going going through and seeing all of Sly's ancestors. Hell, an idea that I think would be interesting is go all out. Like do the Back to the Future do the Back to the Future thing where someone was screwing over Sly's timeline to a point where Sly himself was disappearing. So. You couldn't use Sly. You, every time you go, like, the, eh, Murray, Bentley, and, Murray, Bentley, and I guess, uh, Carmelita later, actually have to go back in time and try and, and try and fix things. But instead of playing as, Sly, you play as his ancestors, and his ancestor, and keep that gameplay where the ancestors play as Sly, but have their own unique abilities. Um, 
I, I just think that would be an interesting way to to do it, to to still have the time travel, but have it like go all out with the time travel. Have it like there's actual consequences to the villain screwing up the timeline. Yeah. Hell, it, hell, in this hypothetical idea, what I would have is Carmelita doesn't even go after Bentley and Murray because Sly doesn't exist. She doesn't know these two. And she, like, as far as she's concerned, they're not villains. Hmm. Uh, that does sound pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, tons. <laughs> focusing a lot on time travel, time travel yeah. stories and lore and such. I, I. That's that's one of my favorite writing exercises. Is just trying to look at stories that involve time travel and try and see how best they can be fixed. I mean, I, I am probably one of five people who actually enjoyed the story of Sonic 6. And even then I can still think of many ways how Sonic 6 could be a much better story. Uh, it, to be fair, I think Sonic 6 would have been better if the story was the story for Shadows, Shadows solo game, and Sonic was just kind of a side character. Uh, anyway, that was that's the end of the part. We'll talk. We'll we'll pick this up on the next part. See ya. Uh, hopefully, if I remember to bring this up next part. <laughs>